Let's start. UFO sightings. Here you go. You ready? You ready? All right. Someone says they saw a UFO. Remind them what the U stands for, okay? <laughs> Unidentified. Because then they say, I saw a UFO. I said, oh, what did it look like? Oh, it was like a spaceship and it landed from another planet. And, then, and I said, you just said you didn't know what it was because you said it was unidentified. And so we have this urge, this irrational urge, which we all know, it's called argument from ignorance, where you don't know something and then you invent something. You go from not knowing anything to knowing everything about it, just by an invention. Of a, of a comment or a thought. So, what I found, when people claim they've seen a UFO, you just get them to describe it. And then you get them to the edge where they then want to say it's an alien. And then you simply tell them, you started out by saying you did not know what it was. End of conversation. You have no evidence to say that you know what it is. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If you want to get abducted, that's the fun part. So. They get abducted. Now they tell you that they were abducted. You tell them, I'm sorry, your eyewitness testimony is not worth anything to me. Because no matter what eyewitness testimony is in the court of law, it is the lowest form of evidence in the court of science. And so you need something better than that. So the next time, here's what you do. So you tell the person, here's what you do. You tell them, next time you're abducted, and to do in the sex experiments, right? You're on the slab, because this is what aliens do when they abduct you, and they're poking your organs. This is what you do. Tell the aliens, hey, look over there, right? And quickly grab something off the shelf that's on the spaceship, an ashtray or something. I don't wouldn't matter what, okay? Because <laughs> I can tell you, no matter if they flew here from another galaxy, no matter what you pull off the shelf, it'll be some unlike anything we have here on Earth. There is stuff we have among us that was unlike anything else on Earth five years ago, three years ago, two years ago. Okay, I pull out my iPhone, there's nothing like, I would be burned at the stake ten years ago for pulling this thing out. Okay? <laughs> and this came out of our own culture. So, so then you just tell them, Give me, just grab something off the shelf next time, and until that happens, please leave me alone, okay? <laughs> there. Now, meanwhile, in this, the United States, the 21st century, you can buy this book, How to Defend Yourself Against Alien Abduction. <laughs> this is a real book. I bought it. <laughs> I read it, and I heeded its advice. <laughs> I remain unabducted. <laughs> there are things like, don't drive alone down a dark roadway. There's that, that kind of, the book is all about what not to do. Actually, I think it would be kind of cool to be abducted by aliens, right? I mean, who in here would not want to, we all want to, you all want to meet the aliens, right? If they're out there, of course. We're not anti-alien. We're just anti your account of the alien. That's all. Now. What pisses me off, inept aliens, okay? Here's, here, you ready? So, here are aliens from another planet, another galaxy. They traverse interstellar space in their spacecraft. Trillions of miles. And they get to Earth and they crash. And I'm thinking, I don't want to meet these aliens. They, they can't. They can't land on Earth. Forget. Bring me somebody who knows how to navigate, okay? And uh, then I'll have a conversation with those aliens. Until then, stay out of my face, okay? I don't like stupid aliens. Next. Oh, and you remember Close Encounters of the Third? You know that movie, right? What was weird was here's the mothership. You all, we all saw the movie. If you haven't, go ahead. Who's the 15-year-old here? Have you seen that movie yet? Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Put it on Netflix, it, okay? All right. So the mothership comes. And they all knew the mothership was coming. They all knew it was a flying saucer. They all knew it came from another planet through the vacuum of space. And so what do they do? To the left of, the, of that monument, they set up 
runway lights. And I'm thinking, if you could travel through the vacuum of space, you don't need runway lights. <laughs> runway lights are like if you're using air for lift. Aliens would not need air for lift. So the people were not thinking this through. Those were inept producers. If you would like more information about the amazing meeting, visit amazingmeeting.com.